Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We have a mission that we need to launch, Earth Oceans. Let's do it. It's extremely unreliable. So, 11% risk of going boom, 31% of a negative event. This is not going to be a fun mission, guys. We have lift off. I think it's going boom. It's going boom. Yeah, it's going boom. All right, well, that's too bad. All right. That's a shame. We lost a hundred support. It's no biggie. All right. Now we have two active mission slots. But I don't actually think I'm going to start another mission at this time. Unless, no, we already have that. We don't need a lucrative mission. We have money. I don't really want to go to the moon. We could do this a little a logical study. You know what? Let's plan that mission. Uh, we'll increase the crew capacity and build the payload. That'll take five months. But we'll keep the other mission slot open because we are completing the ACTS research next month, which is for our uh, final mission. So I don't know if we want to do that just yet, but let's go on. ACTS research completes. A large advanced spacecraft capable of carrying multiple crew on missions to explore the solar system. Cool. And we have a new request mission, orbital radio. Now, let's see here. Mars readiness, we're at 83%. Our chance of mission success is average now. But we're going to wait until our... Um, our... Uh, ground hab is underway or has landed no one even has the research anyway so no one has the research we could do it together with NASA but why would we do that there's absolutely no reason to do that we're not going to plan the mission yet for research, uh, one, two, one, two, two. What about these? One percent Mars expertise, one percent Mars expertise, one percent Mars expertise. Hmm. Plus 10% payload reliability is really nice, though. You know what? Let's do the Neptune flyby, then the Grand Tour, and the Saturn Orbiter to unlock the Era 4 plus 10% payload reliability. I like the sound of that. All right. Next month, we are launching the Centrifuge module. It's an experimental payload, so it's not the most reliable, but it's very reliable on the launch. And we have 1% chance of critical failure and 99% chance of a positive event. So let's get our shuttle up there. Let's do it. It's going. It's going. So we get a positive event, plus one command on first turn or first task. Alrighty. And there's the centrifuge module. We need to deal with drift. You can I feel like you can see that the station is getting bigger and bigger for everything we're slapping onto it. 
All right, so five turns, five commands for this turn, but four commands normally. And we need eight com 20 data and 20 nav. And our payload is unreliable to say the least. Let's do two manual data collections. We need to get our drift up to 10. Hmm. What then? If we... Hmm. If we ping location... and do a flyover course adjustment and then ping the location again 348 it's actually the data that's going to be the worst to get. Let's do real time comms. Confirm. That sucked. We'll resist it. And we get a little bonus data there. Nice. So nine, three, and five. Okay, we'll do a flight path control. What will we? Let's do a conducting of experiments. Then do... Fly over course adjustment. Magnetic field analysis and recharge our power. That takes us to 6, 10, and 10. We'll have to resist this. Well, we don't have to, but we will. And all good. Alright, so we're at 4 drift. Let's conduct experiments again and recharge our power, ping the location. To retail real time comms. And then I think Oh, that's all the turns or all the commands. It's fine. Resist that. Nice and extra data there. Okay. Let's conduct some more experiments. Then... Fly over course adjustment. Recharge our power. I think another flyover course adjustment. 
It takes us to 8, 17, and 21. And we need two drift next time. So we can do a... Actually, let's not do another flight path control adjustment because we'll be doing this thing once. Let's do a magnetic field analysis. 8, 20, and 17. Ooh, just barely. All right, so we need... We basically have to do this. And this. That gets us the drift. Then... We can do a flyover course adjustment, which gives us... Our bonus reward, our drift is on the money, and we'll have three power to resist with. That seems good to me. Resist. Accept. And accept. All right. That is done. So that's 4,323 support, 401 science for 20 months, and we get the emergency power system, which is really nice. And Jadius and Mathieu are on the space station for 12 months. Now, I don't know that I want to go on any more missions. We have two active mission slots, but what's the point? Because our experience, experience is at 100%. Uh, your agency's experience in overcoming the myriad challenges involved in exploring space, increasing Mars experience will reduce the task requirements in the crewed Mars landing mission. Earn experience by completing missions. We've already done all the missions that we need. Uh, expertise, we need to get up, but that is by completing research. And then this, the preparation, we're launching the last preparation mission already we're working on it at the moment so of course we need science to do the research to get our expertise up these two don't give us science the sinological studies we're already doing Subsurface heater or penetrator? Sure, why not? Let's do it. Uh, we can't give it extra power, so it'll just be like that. Next month. New request mission on Earth. Earth oceans. Challenging mission. I think we'll skip that one. Next month. Subsurface penetrator. Let's design the vehicle. We'll do... We don't have the Centaur. We'll do the Gina and the Atlas. Because that is just the way we roll. That is horrible reliability. So we'll do reinforced tank walls to beef that up a little bit. And then we'll ask Messier Aerospace to build it as well. To give us that little bit more launch reliability, 73%. Build that vehicle. Next month. We have the budget re review. We won't get up to the next tier of funding. But that's okay. Neptune flyby research is complete. And the Selenological Studies payload is complete. Contractor effects decreased by 50%. Well, we don't really plan on having a contractor on this, I think. Let's use the Beetlejuice. Yeah, let's use the Beetlejuice. Vehicle is not valid. Oh.
Let's design a new vehicle then. I uh, guess it'll be the Saturn II. And for the booster, it'll be the Saturn V. Launch reliability is nice. Payload reliability is okay. So why don't we go with... Well, that costs five points. We only have three. Um, Hmm. That's Let's do the improved guidance system. Plus twenty percent chance of a positive event. Go to the solar system and research. Let's start researching the Grand Tour. We have a new request mission somewhere. Oh no, we have a new. Uh, we have the Neptune flyby, which we have completed the research for. But everyone else has done it already. I wouldn't mind going to Neptune though. I think it's a pretty planet. All right, next month. Space Station, a telemedicine techniques developed by for your modular space station have been used to treat survivors of an earthquake in an area inaccessible to emergency services. Gain 300 support. Nice. Alright, so... We have a request mission here. Global positioning. Money. Let's just continue on to the next event, which will be next phase of the Jovian Small Moons. Next mission phase ready for the Jovian Small Moons. We actually have a mission slot. Could do the Neptune thing. Alrighty. Need to deal with radiation. It's a three now. We have four turns, three commands per turn. We need 16 comms, 10 data, and 10 nav. So if we did visual spectrum sampling. Then we could do gyroscopic stabilization and data compression. Actually, you know what? No, I think that's what we're doing. Visual spectrum sampling. Look, hey, no, gyroscopic stabilization and data compression. It will reduce our payload reliability by 5%, but there's really nothing we can do about it. Okay, so that takes us to 80% reliability. Now, I want to do a data compression and an infrared mapping. Or... Do I actually want to do two data compressions? I can't do that. Because I don't have any data. So if we do infrared mapping, then we can do data compression. 16, 2, and 2. Dang it. Let's resist that. Okay. We have two turns left. We need to get a lot of... Nav and... 
data. So if we do this and do this. And do this again. Then we can do an orbital plane adjustment next turn and that will get us there. Okay. And we'll go to... Oh, we're at 20%. Last turn. We need to do an orbital plane adjustment. We can recharge our batteries. We get our 50% bonus reward. And everything is fine and dandy. There we go. Alrighty. That is... The Jupiter flyby complete. 2,340 support, 1,280 science for five months. That is very nice. That is very nice. All right, we have mission slots. Hmm. I think one of the missions that I'll plan is the Neptune flyby. It'll take forever. Uh, actually, it'll take 145 months. We'll be done with the game before that happens, so let's not do it. Uh, let's just plan the ionospheric measurements here. Uh, give it some extra power. Build the payload. That'll take two months. Sublime, Sublime is complete next month. And then there's row 2B in two months. Martian Livin is complete in 11 months. And the Stargazer is complete in eight months. We'll be done with the Grand Tour research in not too long. So next month. And the subsurface penetrator vehicle is complete. Let's do some launch prep. We could do with some more launch liability. It's only 73. And then go in October, and then it's up to 82. And we have a month in, the, in, case, it, in case it's raining. That's fine by me. Jupiter rings discovered. Your Jovian small moon survey mission has discovered a system of rings around Jupiter. The reddish rings are made up of dust thought to be ejected from orbiting moons as a result of high-velocity impacts. Gained 750 science. Nice. Alright, let's design the vehicle for this. And it's just going to be the Topaz and the Emerald. And confirm 67k. Build that. That'll take three months. So we're launching the subsurface penetrator in two months. We'll be done with the Grand Tour research next month. This ambition, ambitious mission, blah, this ambitious, ambitious mission will launch a long-range nuclear-powered probe with a carefully designed trajectory allowing it to visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, uh, Uranus, uh, Neptune, and Pluto. After these encounters, the probe will continue on into interplanetary space, leaving the solar system entirely. Okay, let's do the Saturn orbiter. Uh, we have a milestone mission here, uh, the Grand Tour, yeah. That'll take 153 months, it's just not worth it. We have a mission out here at Mercury, Exospheric Studies. That only takes six months and gives quite nice science. It is challenging. It is challenging. And then we have at the moon, moon micrometeorites. Meteorite, okay. I think we'll just leave that mission slot open for now. We're at 87% Mars redness. Alright, next month, let's launch the subsurface penetrator. 
if the weather allows. It does. Good conditions. 2% risk of boom, 7 of a negative event. Let's go. Alright, we are on our way. Looking good. Looking good. Alright, we got a positive event. Flawless sent plus 10% payload reliability for duration of mission. Very nice. Okay. So thrust and drift. We need 14 nav and 4 thrust. And so we just need to hit this once on the last turn, but it will cause drift. We have uh, a parameter of minus two to two drift that we can work with. So why don't we... Hmm... Start with an infrared, infrared spectroscopy, then a trajectory optimization. We have four turns and three commands per turn, by the way. And we need to have two extra, uh, two comms for the last turn. Um, and then we can do. Um, micrometeorite detection. Confirm. So, the 10% extra reliability is really nice. It would have been a 30% instead of 20. Right, so we can do a trajectory optimization. Another micrometeorite detection and another trajectory optimization. That takes us to 7. We'll get one when we are on the last turn. Dang it. Uh, we'll resist that. And I think we'll do the same again. Uh, micrometeorite detection, trajectory optimization. Actually, you know what? Do a solar flare analysis, then do two trajectory optimizations. Because then we just need to do one, two, three next turn, and that'll get us there. Confirm. All right, an extra data. A little boo boo there. Okay, then we can do one, two, three, giving us our bonus. We even have an extra nav if needed. We have our thrust, we have our drift in place, bonus reward achieved. And we can resist this final action, uh, which we don't really have to. Accept it. There we go! Mars transfer trajectory complete. 221 science rate months, 296 support. Alright. Saturn orbiter will be done next month. Which means we will have our uh, payload reliability. Saturn's complex system of rings and countless moons make the gas giant an enticing candidate for further study. This mission will dispatch a probe equipped with a variety of sensors to enter orbit around Saturn and perform long-term scientific observations. 
Pluto flyby research complete. A dwarf planet on the very edges of the solar system, Pluto is beyond the orbit even of distant Neptune. Its distance and low mass makes it difficult to approach, but this mission would dispatch a, spe a specially designed nuclear-powered probe to study it in detail. Okay. And payload mastery complete. Our agency's unrivaled expertise in spacecraft and satellite technology will grant a tremendous boost to the reliability of our mission payloads, plus 10% payload reliability. Nice. And then we have our ionospheric measurements. And we'll do science. Uh, it's super reliable. Uh, we'll go in May, I guess. Confirm. Uh, so we have researched everything, and I mean everything, in the mission tree. There is nothing left to research here. Very nice. All right, let's roll. Roll. I think this is the speed I wanted at. My mouse was going wild. Uh, let's do water sound suppression. That'll cost 10,000. Actually, let's do the contractor's office. That gives us 2%. We have a new mission out here at Saturn. And we could be second, but it'll take 77 months, and I don't think we have the time for it. Uh, next event. Budget review January. We will not get there. One point. 152,000, we need to get up to 160, so we're not too far off. We do have, we have one active mission slot available. Uh, oh, Pluto, Pluto flyby. That's a lot of science and support, but 157 months. We will not have time to do that. Let's see, where are the others in relation to Mars? We are the only one who has the science even still. Uh, the robotic rover Japan has. Uh, no one has the sample retrieval. China has the uh, ground hab, but they don't, haven't planned it. And the crewed rover Japan has as well, but they haven't planned it. All right. Well, uh, next month, I guess. And that's the selenological studies going to the moon. I guess. A sign crew will have zero recuperation time upon mission success. Nice. 88% launch liability will have four astronauts on board. Jadius is going, our bootstrapper is going, our safeguard is going, and I think another scientist. We're very reliable, so we'll do science research, and we'll set a launch date of July. Confirm. Four... Astronauts. I think that's the first time I'm launching anything with four astronauts on board. Uh, next event. New request mission on Venus. Mars prep ground hab vehicle complete. Cool looking. Martian living. All right. Launch liability of 88%. It's down 10%. But science mission bonus training mission. Try it. Brah, I can't speak. Science mission mission training bonus increased by 100%. That was really hard to say. All right, let's launch the ionospheric measurements. It's only 78% launch reliability, but it'll be fine. 6% risk of going boom, 16 of a negative event. Let's go.
looking good. Still looking good, and we are out of here. All right, and we do get a negative event. Wow, it was close. Minus one command on first turn of Francesc. Okay, I suppose that's that'll be fine. These little missions are usually quite easy. One, uh, so we need to deal with the drift. Uh, minus one to one, but we it doesn't fluctuate or anything. Uh, so we need two and five. So how about we do a visual data collection? We only have one command. We have four turns. Then we could do a data transmission and a atmospheric sampling. That takes us to two and three. And within drift parameters, and then we can actually just do two visual data collections and get us there and we can resist one of them. So that is the mission. 50% bonus reward. And we get 441 science for two months, 410 support. And it's all good. What's this Venus mission? Atmospheric sampling, a lucrative one. Don't care. Um, this is already going. We don't have any request missions on Earth. Selenological studies is already on a way underway. Could do the moon micrometeorites for some science. Hmm. Nah. We do have two active mission slots available. Uh, oh, we need to do this. Science, we are quite reliable, so science training for sure. Launch date, January, 50% extra science. 7,000, more than 7,000 science, almost 8,000. So uh, confirm that. Launching in eight months. Next month. Next mission phase ready for the subsurface penetrator. But we will have to do that in the next one, guys, because we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.